In this day and age, there is a concept going around that everyone has their own truth. I highly doubt that truth works this way. In fact, it sounds much more like a strongly held opinion than it does truth. Opinions can be either informed or uninformed, and we can most certainly have the discussion on the topic. For now, I'll ask this question. Do you actually have an opinion? When I look up the word truth in Webster's 1812 dictionary, a few entries pop up. Among those entries are things such as this, conformity to fact or reality, exact accordance with that which is, has been, or will be, purity from falsehood, and correct opinion, just to name a few. As always, I suggest you not necessarily believe me. Go look it up for yourself. All that being said, Truth does not function on a person-to-person -person basis. Most times, when someone says that, they're attempting to keep the lines of meaning in a blurry state. That way, they can avoid critique. As I have said before, the masculine methodology of thinking is called rational logic. The feminine methodology of thinking is called emotional logic. It doesn't feel good to not know what you are talking about or to be incorrect, especially in front of other people. In the expression of emotional logic, not having to feel that generally takes precedence over actually being correct. The type of thinking that results in ideas that would suggest that everyone's opinion is valid falls within the realm of emotional logic or feminine thinking. Some opinions are informed and others are not. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but they are not guaranteed to be informed opinions. An informed opinion is backed up by reason and ration. An uninformed opinion need only have an emotional charge. We all possess both informed and uninformed opinions. My point isn't to say that everyone's opinion should be a certain type of way. Rather, the point I am making is that working from an uninformed opinion will only leave you confused unless you can recognize it and seek to become informed. In episode six of The Black Phillips Show, Patrice O'Neill has a conversation with a guest on the show named Yamanika, who had recently gone through a breakup. I want you to listen to a piece of their conversation. Then I'll continue with the rest of the segment. Yeah. And she Listen, got theme music. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What did you? Is it anything you think you did wrong in this relationship that you like? Go, oh, wow. Maybe I could have did better. Yes. What was it? I think that I was selfish, um, thinking mostly of myself, and I told him what no woman should ever tell a man that you love him and that you care for him because then they will fucking rip your soul out mm. through your vagina. Mm. Really expand on that. Yeah. Exactly. Now, here's what here's what it is. <laughs> what she just said was just based on emotion. You understand? She has no level two. And I'm gonna tell you what she just did. She said something. She needs and this is fellas, this is what it is. Venting. They need you to give them the next thing so then they can have the next thing. Do you understand? Meaning they are reactionary. She has a thought, but it's really not an expanded thought. It's just the regular thing like saying, you know, all men are dogs. And then it's like, then a guy has to go, I ain't no dog. Then she goes, yes, you are. If women's whole thought process has to be based on a conversation and based on shit that a motherfucker's giving her. This is our job, fellas, to put options in Yamanika's head What's, what's, what's your name, sweetie? Jess. Jess. I don't know Jess that well yet, but I know Yamanika says some shit that makes it typical, but Jess is smuggling drugs in her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She could be different. <laughs> Psychologist Carl Jung was quoted as saying, people don't have ideas. Ideas have people. As a left-hand path practitioner and an occult metaphysician as well, I could not agree more with this assertion. This scenario, where a person is taken up by their uninformed opinions and ideas, especially with an emotional charge behind them, 
can be quite typical these days. This includes contradictory notions such as everyone is ultimately right or the notion of personal truth, which really just amounts to a strongly held opinion. In the situations where someone is possessed by the emotional momentum of their own uninformed opinions, they will quite often seek validation of these opinions as opposed to validity of their opinions because they have already presumed themselves to be correct. As a male, you are not entitled to a world where an emotion-centric mindset will be effective or conducive to your own progress and success. Said differently, men need to be ration-centric and failing to check yourself on emotionally charged and uninformed opinions will undoubtedly leave you in a bad spot. Or, as they like to say in the hood, you'll be strong and wrong. Feel free to have an opinion on whatever you would like to have an opinion on. As I said before, my point isn't to police your having an opinion. My point is that if you find yourself having an emotionally charged opinion, and if that opinion is uninformed, or you aren't actively looking to make sure that opinion is valid and informed, that opinion will possess you. Said differently, that opinion will have you and you will not have that opinion. When that opinion has you, it is using you as a tool and not the other way around. I have one more clip from episode six of The Black Phillips Show. This is from a woman who called into the show by the name of Chandra. Have a listen to this one and then I'll wrap the segment up. Oh, go to Chandra. Go to Chandra in Michigan. That's the first call, Chandra in Michigan. We get into these calls now, because you motherfuckers, man. You don't understand. I got problems, too, nigga. All right, Chandra. Hello. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> this bitch. Like, this is, <laughs> this is the shit here. Hello. Okay, go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. I'm sorry, Chandra. I'm in a nasty mood, but go ahead, baby. I know you're in a nasty mood. You call every woman a bitch. What the uh. fuck is that about? Uh, I don't know. Go ahead. I mean, do you have a problem with uh, women? Yeah, and <laughs> you ever well, listen to the show? Explain that one to everybody on the planet. You, 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 I mean, sweetie, what the hell? Do you hear yourself? Do you think I shouldn't have a problem with you? Because let me tell you why. You come on, right? You don't have an opinion. Your opinion has you. You come on without the purpose of making me see your point. You come on with the like every other. Uh, Young lady, we won't say bitch, will we? And we'll stop saying bitch because you said it, Chandra. Every woman comes on here in the in the world to every guy and thinks that what they say because they feel it is what sh sh it, it what it, that's what is. You go, you call every matter of fact. Why the fuck should I explain what I do and you disapprove of it? Go ahead, you tell me. You tell me why I shouldn't call you a bitch, bitch. Yeah. Well, for one thing, you don't know who I am, and which you... is all the better to call you a bitch. I don't really need to know you, right? So, is that how you feel about women? No, I feel a lot Did of ways about women. Somebody, she didn't the question. Like, she not, some, she didn't some answer you. Woman. You are really sleeping. No, you didn't well, even no, catch that. But that's why you here. All man. right, right, right. <laughs> you right. That's why you here. She didn't even answer the question. Answer the question. It was a question posed answer to you. Answer the question. The question is. Did no, we already know what the question you is. Over Answer when it. When you were young, did somebody fuck you when you were young that you didn't like? Wow. What? What? I don't even know what that was like. I mean, really, the way you treat your girlfriend, the way you treat people. I mean, that's gotta that's whoa, gotta whoa, count bitch. for something. I, you're an asshole. Me? You're an asshole to women. To the women's movement, to uh, everyone. Oh my God! She's yeah. around. Yeah, I would like that. I don't even know what the movement is. Yeah, I and you know something? I knew. She she wasn't even real. She's fucking around. Hang up on his hoe. Oh, I'm... Wait, son, she, th no woman who's really angry says women's movement. Sure she did. <laughs> and That's movement women's, was in that, was, that was level one. Shut up. If you have an informed opinion, which is an opinion based in reason and ration, you can be righteous about what it is that you have to say. And any emotional charge that it does have will be in your favor. This will result in you actually having a point to make and not just being overtaken by an emotionally charged and uninformed opinion. Personally, I would expect women 
to have emotion-centric opinions on a regular basis. My point is that as a male, you need to make an effort to have informed opinions, more especially if you're going to express them with righteousness. Otherwise, you're gonna be strong and wrong. As a male, encountering other males who are emotion-centric, more especially if they're parroting feminist talking points and perspectives, will tend to be much more troublesome than any woman who is doing what they do by nature. Give yourself options on thinking differently, and those options will lead you to truth.